we are with the uh, DJI F550. Um, it's my Spectrum radio. And I have the chopper oriented in this direction towards that uh, goal post over there. So that's going to be my waypoint. And we're going to turn it on right now. And make sure it's on arm for course lock. What I do is I trip the stick on my radio. It does a countdown timer on it for six minutes when I fly. Um, I got to actually change that, bring it up to more like 10 or 12. Um, so I flip that switch and I just watch it count down for 30 seconds. And I'm paying attention to the LED that's flashing. I hope you can see. Um, and when it hits 30 seconds, it'll do a little series of green beeps. Like that, right there. It's just acquired. And now it's in normal mode. As you can see, the timer, 518. Get the clear on that. Now what we'll do, switch it to course lock. Okay, course lock is now on. The yellow, the LED is now flashing green-yellow. It's telling you it's armed. And we'll take it for a little ride and see what we got. So that's where our course lock is right now, or our heading lock. It's uh, towards that goal post. Uh, wind's kind of blowing, so we'll see what we got here. Um, these are the um, Monto carbon filled props I'm flying with. Um, hopefully I don't lose one and get caught in the face with it. So let's see what happens. second. Really fighting that headwind right now. Oh, there it goes. I'm flying no hands. That's holding its own right where it is. All by itself. Now if I move it, change your orientation. Front is red. As you can see, it doesn't pay any attention to that. It's crisper with these props, I've noticed. Um, a little twitchier. I don't know if it's the gains or what it might be. But it seems like it's uh, definitely twitchier in the in the wind with these props. It's a stiffer prop. But right now it's on its own. And it's fighting the wind. Doing a little hunting. And that's without inputs from me. All right, now I'm taking control again. So as you can see, now I go forward, it's still going forward. Back is back. It's soft when you're flying it in this mode, just so you're aware of that. Um, still playing around with these props. They're, like I said, they're... Uh, Seem a little twitchier in the wind than the soft plastic ones. And it's gusty today, so if it looks like it's not doing well, it's doing pretty good for the wind. The other thing it does nice is it holds its heading, uh, holds its altitude. So even if it's a soft flight, I've got sticks off right now on the altitude. I'm not even touching it. I just set it and forget it. Then you can fly it with the other stick all you want, like I'm doing now. And right now, when it's in this mode, it's very soft, like I said. But that's what you want when you have a camera on there and you're doing photography. You don't want it bombing around. But right now I'm flying just one hand. 
The other one's off the altitude. I'm just flying with the one stick. Not very fast, but we're flying. Very stable. Okay, what I'm going to do is set it back a little bit. And I'm going to throw it in fail safe. So here we go, fail safe mode. It's in fail safe now. And it should just land, which it's doing. And I'm going to, there she goes. Almost. And I haven't touched any sticks. Still where it is. Boom, shuts itself off beautifully. Okay, now I'm going to take the course lock, course lock switch, look it to the zero to off position. Let's set for a second. I'm going to switch the auxiliary two from failsafe back to GPS. And I'll go back, I'm sorry, back to the off position. And course lock is on now. And I can see that the LED is flashing. Uh, amber and green, which says it's locked. So let's try again. You know, I could spin it any way I want it, and it still holds. Very nice and stable. Seems like the gains are a little high with these props, I think. Maybe I can turn it down a bit. If I turn it down much more, it gets kind of mushy. You're not really getting good control out of it. I think uh, what, I've, what I've done here is I've... My gains are set for the... Uh, the yaw, it's not really set for what I'm using it for right now, so I don't think, I think all I've done is softened up my flight. What I need to do is go to the, uh, the all settings and bring the gains down. I haven't set it 160. Maybe try them at about 130 or so. I think that's where it's at anyway, somewhere around there. I'll set my gain back to zero. And that's it's hovering perfectly. Holds position very well, holds altitude. There she goes. Again, like I said, it's not far off the ground right now. Maybe five, six feet. And it's holding altitude very well. I haven't touched the uh, altitude at all on the radio. I get some pretty spectacular crashes out of the camera though when it's throwing its propellers. That's something you gotta see, I'll tell you. See your uh, $1,000 investment go flying out of the sky, crashing to the ground. Not a lot of fun. You could just let her sit there or bring it back over. And 
this is a security guy. I don't know if I'm going to get kicked out or not. Maybe not. And here comes a cloud of dust. Alright, now it's doing its uh, landing mode thing. Now, right now, that's hands off. Stand back a little bit. Just in case she decides to chuck a prop and I'll catch it in the eyeball. Jack will move it out a little bit. Makes me kind of nervous. Had an uncle that lost his eye flying an airplane. The uh, prop broke off during start, caught it right in the eyeball and took it out. Glass eye for the rest of his life, so. And I don't have my uh, safety glasses or my sunglasses on right at the moment, so. I don't take any chances. But right now I'm hands off on the radio. Not touching it, it's holding position beautifully. And maybe it's going into landing mode, I'm not sure. I haven't heard any beeping, not yet. Still get a uh, green amber flash, which is nice, doing its job. Yeah, it's picking up a little wind. See, it likes a steady wind to fight against. The gusty winds kind of mess with it a little bit. Like it's doing right now. Well, that's flying itself. I'm not touching it. No inputs. Both my hands here. All right, now I've got hands on. Now that is not even 65 feet right there. <laughs> so just to, to imagine what 65 feet is when this thing goes into uh, return to home mode, a little frightening. Because that's probably at about 30, 35 feet maybe. That's my count time timer on my radio. So it's past six minutes in flight now at this point. I am digging the whole one stick flight thing here. It's not exciting, you're not doing loops and rolls, but
but <laughs> it's very stable. Okay, fail safe. It's in fail safe mode right now. It should land itself. No hands. And there she goes. Before it hits the ground, I'm going to throw it back in the Addy again. There we go. Now I'm in attitude mode. Switch back, off, and back on. Okay, now I'm back into quartz lock. As you can see, we can turn orientation, spinning, and it still goes. Orientation works. Sweet. It's spinning. Nice and even. And she looks like she's running out of juice, so we'll bring it back around here. Now what I got to do is, you can't fly this behind you in the Addy, in the uh, GPS mode. Um, going to flick it over to Addy mode, like I just did. Oh, it's still in. Switch that off. All right, now we got our orientation back.